Thanks, Devin. Well, coming up this weekend is the presentation of Holes, brought to you by the School District of Rhinelander's Drama Department. Here this morning to tell us more about the play and give us a sneak peek is the co-director, Roddy McMillan. Good morning. Thank you for coming in today. Good morning. It's great to be here. Good. So what made you guys decide to go with Holes? Uh, we always look around for, for fun plays uh, that will involve lots of students. That's really important that it's, we can get you know, 20, 30 people involved <laughs> in the play. And we didn't actually realize this was a play until recently. We, you know, I know it was a popular book in schools and still <laughs> is. And then it was a great movie. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we stumbled across that it is actually a play. Mm -hmm. And when we looked at it, there was a few, I have to make a few alterations, um, but it's actually a great play for them, and yeah. they've really enjoyed doing I it. I definitely enjoyed the book and movie growing yeah. up as well, so it should uh -huh. be a really good one. So, uh -huh. um, how long have you guys been working on it? Well, we started in January. We auditioned at the end of last year, and we've been working since, uh, I think, January the 6th. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, all we right. do like three nights a week. Three nights a week, mm -hmm. all right. So, and last fall, you guys did Matilda. How did that turn out? Matilda was really good. It was uh, another great show. It's like there seems to be a theme this year of uh, lizards and reptiles <laughs> <laughs> going through our shows. Uh, but no, it was a great show. We had like uh, close to 60 to 70 people involved, including the band and everybody. And uh, it went down really well. Good. Yeah, Matilda yeah. was another classic movie as uh, well. Exactly it was. So now we get the chance to get a preview of the event as the two leads are here. You guys take it away. How are you feeling? A little better. Here, have another onion. Okay. How many do you think we've eaten? I don't know. I'd say at least 20 onions a day. We've been here three days. Uh, 120 between us. 120 onions. Boy, we must really stink. <laughs> yeah. What was that song you sang on the first night? Oh, that was just sort of like my family song. My mom used to sing it to me. Weird. I didn't think anyone else knew it. Well, maybe it was different. I don't know. It's been a long time. Not too much singing at the homeless shelter. That's where I got the shoes. Clyde Livingston's shoes? Well, I didn't know they were his. I mean, people would donate their old clothes and stuff to the shelter, so when I saw these old sneakers sitting in a glass case, I just took them. The next thing I know, the whole place is going crazy. It was kind of funny. Everyone's running around like, where's the shoes? The shoes are gone! And there I am, standing in the middle of everybody, just wearing them. I walked right out the door. Then as soon as I got outside, I ran around the block, took off the shoes, and put them on top of a parked car. Weird. I was walking under a freeway overpass when they fell on me. They must have fallen off the car and... Strange. Man, I should have just kept them. I'd already made it out of the shelter and everything. I ended up getting busted the next day when I tried to walk out of the mall with a new pair of sneakers. If I had just kept Clyde Livingston smelly old shoes, neither of us would be here right now. Do you believe in destiny? When those shoes fell on me, I thought it was just my no good, dirty rotten, pig stealing great great grandfather. But now, up here on God's thumb, I'm not so sure. You want to dig one more hole? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks really intriguing to watch. And great job to you guys over there. <laughs> nice performance. Um, so if what, someone wants more information, including like pricing and um, ticket pricing and dates, where can they go? Okay. Well, the play is at the uh, Rhinelander High School, mm -hmm. and it's on... Uh, tonight, Friday, Saturday at 7 o'clock, and Sunday at 1 o'clock. It's absolutely free, so you don't have to pay anything, and it's a great show. It definitely looks really intriguing, and um, where is the uh, auditorium at again? It's right uh, in the, the high school. In the high school, all yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming in today. Thank you, thank you guys for over there for, um, for your performance. It looks like a great show, so we will look forward to seeing it. Thank, thank you, you again. Thanks very much.